Alright, uh, Shalom Akim. Well, first off, say, I praise you all by Shimmy on Shai. Double honor to the Apostles of Great Millstone. He say, attention to you, Akim, pushing his word in truth and with sincerity. You know, um, I, wanna, I, wanna, I was in spirit when I woke up this morning to make, to make a video about uh, the, the, the serious times we're in, we're living in, and how Esau's about to start making moves and and we gotta be, uh, you know, us brothers, being the faith and truth. We, we got, we gotta, you know, build, 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 build ourselves up, you know, and start, you know, trying to make ourselves better in this knowledge. You know, because scripture says wisdom and knowledge should be the stability, stability of your time. You know, in those days, you know, and a helmet for salvation. So, you know, you know, us, us being in the faith, us. Constantly being the spirit, will, you know, will make will, will make us, you know, get strong, and, you know, and, and be able to fight against the wilds of the devil, man. You know, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna start off with uh, Second Peter's. Um, uh, second book, of Second Peter's, three, three and ten. It says. Uh, Says, but the day of the Most High Yahweh will come as a thief in the night, and that which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And that's talking about uh, those the nuclear missiles. I read it again. It says, but the day of the Most High will come as a thief in the night. You know, because a thief comes when nobody uh, is expecting, and that's how the that's how the Most High is going to return. Well, nobody's expecting or well, the whole world like the scripture says in the gospels that uh the way is uh uh sodom and gomorrah was overthrown and um uh, in the time of, of noah the that men were eating and drinking and uh getting given into marriage the same thing the same thing uh the same thing these people are going to be doing is the same the same uh is when the most high is going to come back you know when the most high comes back you know, people are going to be doing the usual things, man. You know, they're not going to be thinking about the Most High coming back. You know, that's why he's coming as a thief in the night. You know, it says, in, the, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the earth also, and the and the works that are therein shall be burnt up. Right, because the Most High is going to bring this destruction to America, man. You know, it's going to, it's going to make the, the earth to stagger like a drunkard. You know when these 200 million missiles are gonna hit America, you know, and the and the, the Lord's gonna show His power, man. It says, um, it says, seeing that all these things should be dissolved, what manner of persons, what manner of persons are you are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness, right? So what kind of man? Seeing seeing that the that the whole, the world's gonna be destroyed, you know, seeing that you're gonna be seeing uh. Before, before the Most High destroys this place, you know, seeing that, seeing that, 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 that there's gonna be uh, hell and chaos and wars and famine, like, what, what manner of person are you out to be? You know, what, what kind of man of the Lord are you, are you out to be, man? You know, and how, you, how your conduct, how you act, how you act um, on a regular basis, if you stay in the spirit, you know, what, what kind of person are you out to be, man? You know, and that's the that's something you gotta uh, us brothers gotta think about. You know, to constantly stay in the spirit and not get weak. You know, especially uh, speaking for myself as a younger brother, you know, I sometimes tend to get weak. But you know, you know, the Most High, uh, you know, brother has get, the Most High get, has given us brothers to 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 uh, to uh, build each other up and um, you know uh, give you that give you that courage and that strength. You know, to for brothers to you know get you back up in the right track, you know. So it's so I'm gonna read verse twelve. It says, "Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat." So right, man. So you know, we looking for for the, for the salvation of Israel, but first, you know, we gotta get ourselves right, you know, and seek the Lord while he while he's here, man. You know, seek the Lord while he's nigh. Um, my next scripture is gonna be in the pocket for. Ah, it's a lot. Um, 
Thanks a lot, keep brothers. Damn, man. Must have forgot my pocket from the room. I was in a hurry. It was Salaki, bro. You know, the scripture I wanted to bring out was, um, was, um, uh, seek the Lord ten times more, man. And the, the Baruch, Baruch 4 and 28 says, uh, you know, we were in the world, you know, away from the Most High, but now that, that we come to the knowledge of the Lord, we seek the Most High ten times more. You know, because, you know, in Jeremiah 1 and 6 says that the, the, the uh, the Most High chose us to be, He ordained us to be a prophet, man. So the Lord's bringing us back to our remembrance. You know, like in the book of, uh, the book of Jude, I believe, it says um, that the Most High is bringing us back uh, uh, to remembrance as, you know, like as we knew it again, you know. You know, roughly paraphrasing that, but, you know, we seek the Most High ten times more, man, knowing that we are Israelites, knowing that we might have did some wicked wicked abominable abominable shit in our past life man you know and the lord's giving us a chance to repent and to seek him more man you know the scripture says too much is given much is required so you know we, we, we gotta we gotta do our part and you know we stay strong in this thing and, and not get weary you know the, the scripture says a woe, woe to them that are faint-hearted man you know you know we, we, we can't be weak in this thing you know even though you know the flesh is weak, but you know the spirit is willing. You know. Uh, my next scripture is um, right, and and us us seeking the most high, uh, us seeking the most high ten times more. You know we're not in a, this knowledge that this light, this knowledge, because this this word is considered light. You know this light. You know we're not gonna put it under a candle. We're not gonna put it under under the bed, man. You know, for and hit this this light. You know, we're gonna show it. We're gonna show and exalt. You know, the word of Yahweh by Shem Um My many scriptures is in Galatians. You know, cause Galatians six and seven. <clears throat> Galatians six and seven is says. Uh, be not deceived, be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth, that shall he also reap. Alright, man. So the most high the most high is not mocked. You know, if you if you're in this if you're doing if you're in this truth, man, and not and not not doing not not pushing forth this word and and, and hiding and you're hiding your light, the candle, the candle under the bed, man, you know, the most high is gonna destroy you, man. You know, cause you know, the, the scripture gives in the, it gives a parable how uh, the master of the house gave his servants uh, talents. You know, I believe that's how it was, and he gave them talents. You know, some brought forth, you know, mul multiply the talents. Some brought forth double. Some, 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 some brought forth tens. You know, but 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 some didn't bring forth nothing, man. You know, and it's just like those 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 five uh, wicked virgins, man. If you if you're not trimming your lambs, trying to you know, try strive for the masteries like the scripture says, and then the most high is gonna spew, spew you out your mouth. You know, like, like the book of Revelation says, uh, I'd rather I'd rather you be luke uh hot or cold than to be lukewarm. Because yeah, how shy doesn't he's not dealing with lukewarm brothers, man. And that's something that's something you gotta examine yourself every day. And I, first and foremost I speak for myself, man, because I, I know I I sometimes get lazy, but you know, doing these videos and stay in the spirit is gonna it's what gonna it's what gonna uh pump you up to push forth this word more man it's keep you motivated keep you uh keep you on um, focus and so you won't be um, complacent all right so i read the scripture again this is galatians 6 and 7 it says be not deceived your how was not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth that shall he also reap for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption so if you put it away day and day, the Lord, you know, and doing what you want to do, then you're gonna be uh, sowing corruption, man. You know, it, you know, if the spirit hops on you to do a video or to do a lesson, don't put it away till you do after you do what you want, what you want to do, man. You, you do the f the work first, man. And that's a cut to myself, man. You know, you know, cause 
you then your then your flesh is gonna start showing corruption. Things you, you start gonna have demons in you, man. Doubt demons, and then then you're gonna end up falling out the truth. You know. So it says, uh, but he that sowed to the spirit, should the spirit reap everlasting, man. So if you're constantly fervent, you know, like the scripture says, be fervent. And if you constantly fervent, that the Lord's gonna keep you, uh, remain you in this in this in this thing, man. All right. Uh, my last scripture I want to bring out is um, Second Peter's one and ten. You know, is one of my favorite scriptures because you know we always bring it out, and it's something you know to always look at, you know, and acknowledge the scripture. Um, all right. Second uh, Peter's one and ten it says um uh, says uh. Wherefore, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall, right? And 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 if we do these things, if we stay in the spirit, you know, and continue to push this word and be uh, diligent, you know, because diligent, uh, being diligent is being um, uh, being uh, um, being always on uh, staying on on track. You know, so to speak. You know, always, always, uh, constantly pushing out this word, being diligent, man, being constantly doing the work of the Lord, man. You know, it says, uh, I'll, I'll read the last part again. It says, for if you do these things, you should never fall. All right. And now we go back to the scripture I read earlier. How it says, um, uh, if, if you sow, if 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 you sow, uh, I'll just get it again. You know, not to butcher it, but. No, if you sow to the spirit, you will you you will sow spiritual things, man. Uh, it says uh, Galatians six and eight it says, for he that sowed to his flesh of oh, the flesh reap corruption, but he that sowed to the spirit shall 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 it's like it's to the but he that sowed to the spirit shall of the spirit reap everlasting, and and that's part of uh, making your diligence making uh your salvation uh making uh, being diligent to make your your uh, calling and election sure you know so you know staying in the spirit is what it's, it's what makes you to stay diligent man you know but uh you know that i just want to bring out this quick lesson you know i didn't want to make it too long you no know, but it's that, something that really that i want to do you know start off my day but uh you know i hope this video was edifying knock you you know, I'm gonna give all praise to you. How about Shimmy Al Shai? Double honors to the apostle of Great Millstone that rule well and salutations to you, Akin, pushing his word in truth and with sincerity and with charity across the four corners of the world. I wanna say Shalom.